what's going on guys so we have a vanquish uh phoenix kit here and uh we are gonna take as much parts from this kit and then transfer it over to a merch x evo so right now uh what i know for sure that we are going to be using is we're gonna use the vfd transmission the f10 portal axles the drive shafts of course we'll be using the machine gears um, we will only be using the rod ends and we will be using i think if i'm not if i'm not wrong the pen hard the pen hard link and the steering link from the kit uh, we have some 1275 links here that we are going to be using you guys can still use the links from the kit if you want to stay with the with the 123 wheelbase but um uh, we also are going to be using the the servo mount because we are going to cut it to mount the transmission onto the kit and i will show you guys how to do that so let me get building and then i will be back Alright guys, we are done building the axles and the transmission. Uh, now I'm going to be using some Traxxas big bores, 90 millimeters in the rear and some deluxe 80 millimeters in the front. Now I have a red Merch Evil right here. So let's keep going. All right, guys, so we got the servo uh, mount right here from the Phoenix. Um, it comes in bag C. So this piece you're going to need if you already have a built Phoenix um, and the VFD trans and the axles, everything already built and everything. You guys don't have to watch the beginning of this. Um, but we are going to, well, we're going to cut right here like right right where this ends right here it's plastic so pretty much we're just gonna be using this piece right here and it's gonna bolt onto the frame here on the second hole right there and then we are going to drill a hole right here with this existing hole so uh let me go ahead and uh and cut this and i'll be right back okay guys so I've already cut these little ears off here. Uh, so this is what you'll be left with, two of them, one for each side. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, you're just gonna use a screw here. I'm using an M3 by 10 right here. And then um, I'll just go ahead and I will bolt it on the second hole right here, not on this one. So it'll be on this one right here. So, you want to leave it a little bit loose because you're going to put the transmission in right now. So, don't put that too tight just yet. Same thing on this side right here. The, we're going with the second hole again so I'm 
now your chassis is gonna look like this and like i said leave it loose you know you're not gonna you're still gonna put the transmission in probably put it in and take it out so now your trans your vfd trans will sit in here it'll sit in like that and once we get everything bolted up and everything we're gonna drill a hole right here into the plastic with a uh, 116 uh, drill bit and then we're gonna thread in a M3 by 10 right here so that's right now I'm gonna get that I'm gonna get that done and I want to show you guys how we are gonna mount the transmission so the transmission once this is in place right here bolts it down we're gonna this is a m3 by 16 and this is a quarter inch um spacer so this will sit underneath like so and this one will sit in like that we're gonna go ahead and and uh do the same thing that we're gonna do with the plast with the with the plastic right here up front we're gonna drill uh with the 116 drill bit and then we're gonna thread the screw in and that should be pretty sturdy so let me put the phone aside and uh, i'll tighten this up right here and then i'll come back Alrighty, so i have tightened up the front screw right here on both sides and that's how it's going to look um so there it is on the other side and uh i went ahead ahead and then i drilled uh, this hole right here so you can see the skid is backwards so i will have some uh blank uh skids coming in for this but um uh, i ended up using a a 330 seconds drill bit simply put it in here went through and then i just threaded the screw in afterwards all right let's see if i could uh do this without moving the tripod too much so So that's what it'll be right there. And we got our M3 by 16 screw, our quarter inch spacer. And that's it. We are simply going to thread this one in. Now this is Delrin, so it is going to be a little bit harder than plastic. Also guys, do not over tighten these, they will strip, but that's it. The transmission is, is bolted in. Um, in reality, you do not have to put the screw in here. It's already held in, position, in place with these two, two right here in the back and then the two here in the front but I would recommend still doing this one right here in the front. So as I mentioned, uh, we are gonna, the same drill bit and uh, just gonna drill through the plastic here. Come on. That's it. Now the other side.
that's it. Right there. So we got two. Two holes there. No. I'm simply gonna thread these in. And that's it right there guys so that is how you mount the bfd transmission to the merge x evo um i will continue to assemble this uh put the links and i will continue to move forward with the uh, explaining how this is continuing to get finished all right guys so we have everything mounted up and um i will make a separate video once i have the servos on here for the overdrive and the dig and of course for the steering uh, this doesn't have motor in here or any electronics whatsoever but as i mentioned i'm using 90s in the rear 80s in the front and uh from from the kit we use the axles the drive shafts the transmission of course and then um we use the servo uh mount to cut out these pieces here or well, to cut out the back piece of this to make the mounts for the transmission to the kit um now uh we also use the pan hard the pan hard link and then the steering link right here so things to look for when you if you do transfer your your rig over to a merge x evo is so since this set of links is a high clearance link and like i said the wheelbase on the wheelbase on this is 12 7 um so what I did was that this front upper link hit on the plastic piece. So I removed the piece, grinded it down, and that's fully compressed right there. You probably can't tell because of, but there it is, focus. So it just clears and there's maybe uh, like a few millimeters there of clearance well the shock is fully compressed and then on this side right here so it rubs on the case a little bit so that's fully compressed right there so you might take a dremel or some sandpaper and then just grind this cover really slightly besides that everything went on pretty smooth uh, didn't have no issues installing anything so yeah if you guys wanted to use your stock links you guys could use your, your stock links um, should work fine so yeah guys that's it that is how you do a Vanquish Phoenix onto a Merge X Evo and then uh, I will put the links in the description for for the links and uh what else and then like i said earlier we'll probably have some blank skids for the kit so i'll we'll probably make an option for the kit to come with a blank skid and then the two spacers and then the two screws right here which is pretty much everything you guys will need everything else you guys will get from the from the phoenix so enjoy guys